Hello travel lovers, welcome to our channel, where travelers get inspired to plan their favorite destination itinerary trip in a budget-friendly way, and making memorable memories prescribed by our advice by us on this channel. Today we have an amazing itinerary trip for your viewers on Sri Lanka. Where viewers will get complete information about holiday destination country like local culture and food, best season, art, and history, transport visa advice, accommodation cost expenditure, fun sports activities and other more exciting things. Sri Lanka, often referred to as the Pearl of the Indian Ocean is a tropical island country located in South Asia. Despite its modest size the island is crammed with an extraordinary variety of landscapes. The island offers a myriad of experiences and activities that are joy to discover. Sri Lanka is a multi-ethnic country majorly as Sinhala, Tamil, Muslim, and Berger. There are three official languages Sinhala, Tamil, and English. Majority speak Sinhalese. But English is widely used and understood in tourist areas. Best food a div Sri Lankan food is so diverse with various influences from its multi-ethnic population. Delectable rice and curry crispy hoppers, steamed rice noodles, roti and kadu are some of the most popular varieties of Sri Lankan food. Exotic street food to try in Sri Lanka include a cheru, kola kanda, porridge, bambamatai. Best time to visit Sri Lanka Sri Lanka is an all-year holiday destination. The most popular time to visit is between November-March. How to get around in Sri Lanka? You will find plenty of options like hiring private car, public transport like buses and trains, tuk-tuk or rickshaws and domestic flights visa advice all travelers require a valid visa, this will be issued for 30 days, and extendable for up to 6 months after arrival. Apply for visas online apps, ada.gov.lk slash of accommodation you will find many reasonable price options available in the country and most popular Airbnb, luxury villas and boutique hotels are available in abundance. Currency Sri Lankan Rupee, LKR, cost expenditure Sri Lanka is fairly inexpensive, even if you are on a budget. Note that some hotels and restaurants levy a 10% service charge. Tipping is expected for most services. Exciting things to do in Sri Lanka, water sports snorkeling, surfing, kiting, jet skiing, wildlife safari, scenic train rides, hiking and trekking, visiting the cultural triangle river safaris. Day 01, Explore Colombo Bandaranaik International Airport is the main international airport in Sri Lanka which is located in Katunaik. The best place to the start your trip is Colombo City, to get from the airport to Colombo City you can easily get an airport taxi, Colombo, is the vibrant cosmopolitan city is rich in ethnic diversity, and is the heart of numerous cultural sites. It offers a vast selection of accommodation options ranging from rustic beachside shacks to lavish colonial mansions, and stunning hotels for you to stay. There are plenty of tuk-tuks that will take you around. Alternatively, you can use Uber and Pikm as well. It is best that you have an early morning breakfast and start exploring Colombo at 8 a.m. Things you can do in Colombo. First, Sima Malakaya. Sima Malakaya is the perfect place for tranquility, nestled over the Barra Lake. It is an eclectic mix of Sri Lankan, Thai Indian and Chinese architectures. Also allows you to meditate, relax while admiring the vistas of the Barra Lake. Second Gangiramaya Temple situated across the shore of Bera Lake The 19th century Gangiramaya Temple is one of the oldest Buddhist temples in Colombo. In addition to being a temple of worship it is presently an internationally acclaimed institute of learning and cultural center. Please note while going to Gangiramaya and Sima Malakaya Temple tour visit during the morning or evening hours tourists over 12 years are charged RS 400, United States dollars 2.25, per person dress modestly, covering shoulders and knees and remove your footwear before entering the premises. Third visit one of the most unique mosques of Asia the Red Mosque Jami al Alfar. The Grand Mosque of Jami al Alfar towering over the busy streets of Peta is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city. The Mosque is perfect combination of four unique styles of architecture Indian, Gothic, Neoclassical and Indo-Islamic architecture. Here are some useful tips. When visiting the Red Mosque, timings for visit, Saturday to Thursday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. to skip the crowds in the busy streets of Peta visit early morning. Female visitors are required to cover their hair, arms and legs, before entering the mosque. Fourth the Lotus Tower the landmark skyscraper of the country the Lotus Tower is a 350 meters tall skyscraper rising out of the shores of Barra Lake in Colombo. A glimpse of the Lotus Tower can be seen from up to 10 kms away and into the outskirts of Colombo. Tourists will soon be able to experience the inside of the Lotus Tower which includes a revolving restaurant that can seat up to 600 guests in fine dining on the fifth floor, luxury suites to accommodate visitors on its sixth floor, and an observation gallery showcasing amazing views of the Colombo skyline on the seventh floor. It will also host a shopping mall, food courts, supermarkets and a communications museum. 
You may end exploring Colombo at around 05.006 pm and leave the evening for some local shopping and local cuisine. Day 02, Sajurian Dembul is famous for ancient rock fortress of Sri Lanka, belonging to the 5th century. It is an archaeological treasure of the country and declared as a world heritage by UNESCO. The Sajiria Citadel is the perfect blend between human imagination, ancient fine art and technology Sajiria is located in Matale district near the town of Dambula in central province of Sri Lanka. It is located approximately 177 kilometers from Colombo. To travel from Colombo to Sajiria you may use a car, train, bus or seaplane. Hiring a private car is the best recommended mode of road transport for travelers since there are no direct buses or trains to Sajiria. The quickest way to get to Sajiria is by flying. Opening time for visitors 7 a.m. 5 p.m. Wear comfortable clothing The temperature on the Sidri Iraq is approximately 27.30 c. Take a large bottle of water Bring a hat and a sunscreen Buy entrance tickets Foreigners 30 United States dollars per person 15 United States dollars per person Second Rangiri Dambula Cave Temple The UNESCO-listed Rock Temple of Dambula is the largest and best preserved cave temple complex of Sri Lanka. With over 80 documented caves, the major attractions are spread over five hill caves converted into a temple in the 1st century BC and filled with Buddha statues. It will take around two hours for inspecting the caves with their stunning wall painting and ceiling murals. Day 03, Kandy, the cultural capital of Sri Lanka. The Kandy Lake is yet another gorgeous attraction in the town. Start the day with a traditional breakfast. Don't forget to try Colorado with spicy sambal at least once. Things you can do in Candy Lake Visit the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic. UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Golden Roof Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic which enshrines Gautama Buddha's left canine tooth is highly venerated by Buddhists all over the world. When visiting the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic, tourists should purchase tickets at the entrance and local guides. It is very important that all visitors, both male and female should cover up legs and shoulders when visiting the temple. Remove shoes before entering. Explore the Royal Palace Complex is famous for Royal Palace of the Candian Kingdom such as Concubines Quarters, Queen's Chambers, Armory Section and Council Chambers. Explore the International Buddhist Museum and discover the Buddhist culture and its diversity around the world. Tea the exquisite Royal Botanic Gardens, in Peredonia spanning over 60 hectares the Royal Botanic Gardens established in 1843 houses an array of over 4,000 different local and international plant varieties. The 88 feet tall Buddha statue located atop the Baharavakanda, Devil's Hill, and enjoy the breathtaking panoramic view of the city. The best time to visit is early morning. Day 04, Ella is famous for scenic tea plantations, misty forests, sparkling waterfalls, vibrant towns, and lively locals. Ella is the destination of one of the most picturesque train rides in the entire world and an absolute hiker's paradise. Kickstart your day riding aboard the extremely scenic train ride from Kandy. As you arrive at Ella Station, follow the Ella Candy train line to start climbing the rock. Admire the spectacular view from the summit. Witness Sri Lanka's second tallest waterfall, Diluma. Next stop would be the world-famous Nine Arch Bridge. Watch the train slowly make its way across the bridge. Enjoy a beer or a cocktail at one of the relaxing bars in the Ella town. Day 05, Yala National Park and Udawala National Park enjoy the day by embarking on two scenic and exciting safari rides spotting the wildlife interspersed in the lush greenery of Sri Lanka, which is approximately over 130,000 hectares Yala is the second largest national park in the country. Best recommended season for wildlife spotting is between February and July. There are about 500 elephants within the park and their omen herds of about 100. Things to remember, before arriving reach the Yala National Park by 5 a.m. and hop into a 4x4 safari jeep witness the sunrise surrounded by magnificent wildlife. Look out for the leopards, jackals, sloth bears, peacocks, crocodiles and other wildlife luring around the park. You can rent a safari jeep and driver from the various companies at the park entrances in addition to a driver you can also hire a guide for the tour. Day 06, Gal, Gal highlights are Gal Dutch Fort, Hikadua Beach, Ambelangoda Mask Museum, Meadow River Boat Safari, Kasgoda Turtle Conservation Project Start your journey by explore the Gal Dutch Fort UNESCO World Heritage Site, the 400-year-old Gal Dutch Fort is one of the oldest living forts in the world. Best places to visit within the Gal Fort are Dutch Reformed Church, National Maritime Museum, Gal Fort Rampart, Clock Tower, Dutch Prison and the Gal Lighthouse. Visit the incredible handicraft shops and galleries at Gal Fort Next Stop, Hikadua, enjoy the perfect culinary experience of Hikadua. Your Sri Lanka itinerary won't be complete without enjoying the delicious flavors of the best seafood-based dishes in the world. Rent some snorkeling gear and take a short boat right over to the Hikadua Coral Reef. Dive in and enjoy the views of the magnificent underwater world. 
The snorkeling season is between November and April. If snorkeling is not your thing, a glass bottom boat ride is the perfect way to explore the sea life from above. Surfing best surf spots in Hikaduwa are North Jetty, Benny's, Niragama Beach, Okanda. Day 07, Colombo On this last day of your trip to Sri Lanka you can visit local cafes and restaurants, galleries, and handicrafts shops. Lexala where you can buy traditional carved masks, brassware, lamps, vases, jewelry boxes, bags and pouches, wallets. Next head to jewelry and gems shops, where you can find ornately crafted pieces to take back home. Counted among the world's top gem-producing countries Sri Lanka has a wide variety of precious stones, blue sapphires, star sapphires, rubies, moonstones, garnets and topazes being just a dazzling handful. Also don't forget to experience a perfect cup of Ceylon tea, famous all over the world for its signature taste and aroma. Late in the evening you will be leaving for the airport. And lastly before leaving this video we wish, if you really like this video please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can bring such an amazing holiday destination itinerary trips for our viewers. Till the time stay tuned, and never stop dreaming your travel goal destination. Thank you for watching and showing your love and support.